Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon, and this is kind of unorthodox. I'm going to try something new because, um, you know, I, I'm not, put it this way, I'm not the focus. Praise God, hallelujah. And I am very, very, oh my God, I'm perturbed right now. I really am. I am so tired of the devil after our children. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Make sure you share this. Make sure you tag this. And let me tell you something. I don't know if you all see, I'm so full right now. Y'all know when I get full, right? I'm talking about I've been fasting. And for the record, I do apologize. Um, we were supposed to start um, a liquid fast on the 15th. But a lot of you, a lot of people, you know, y'all ate that candy. And I didn't want to, you know, I know it, don't, it, it, doesn't, it takes more than one day to eat a, a thing of chocolate, okay? And although I don't believe in it, I'm learning as a leader that we have to be, um, we have to be open-minded, to everybody is not there you know what i'm saying so but we are getting ready to go on that 21 liquid day fast i'm telling you right now but let me get back to the matter at hand this is what god has been telling me about god you know somebody woke me up at four something the other day but they didn't know it was a plan from the from god god's been talking to me ever since you guys god says deanna they're after the children deanna the church is tainted oh my god i got so much to say but i want y'all to look at this right now and I'm doing it this way on purpose. Look what's happening. The one-year-old that got abused at the daycare. I don't know why it's You are slow. so many things in life. A wife. You really? Mother. Let me see if I can kind of help it along Fighter. the way. I don't know why there was to have to have a, um, a commercial. But the point is, somebody beat up this one-year-old. I mean, I'm not understanding. It's about to come on. Just a moment. And a big story right now. It's a Fox 59 exclusive. A local mother outraged after finding this little boy, her son, beaten by someone at his daycare. And tonight, she is talking only. To Fox 59. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Fanchon Stinger. And I'm Dan Spieler. Tonight, that one-year-old child is still in the hospital. Doctors are trying to figure out just how badly he was hurt. Fox 59's Tanae Howard joining us now with that mother. She talked with her earlier today, and she is here with her story. Tanae? Yeah, Dan and Fanchon, as I talked to that mother, you could still hear baby Jesse screams in the background. She says she got that phone call from the daycare just a few hours after she dropped him off, and her older son is there as well and now we do want to warn you that some of the images that she saw when she walked through that door they are heartbreaking and very hard to look at now it's like i gotta be a stay-at-home mom and 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 not do it the things that i want to do to advance their life to give them the best in order to make sure they're taken care of and not neglected. This is what Tiffany Griffin saw Monday afternoon when she walked into the Kitty Gardens daycare on 38th Street. Her son, one-year-old Jesse, barely recognizable after someone attacked him. I, I hear my son screaming from outside, me and his dad. We hear him screaming. So someone was going there, he's in a high chair, and his both his eyes busted, his lips swollen, top and bottom, scratches all through his face, cuts, um, blood everywhere. Tiffany admits to punching the 22-year-old daycare worker out of anger. The police report lists that worker as the suspect, but the employee told Tiffany another child assaulted Jesse. There's no way a baby, a two-year-old, and that baby was small, and she didn't look like she was the violent type, and her mom said she wasn't the violent type. She you said, that baby's mom. yeah, and that mom said that scratches her baby might do, but when she seen that picture, she started crying and said her baby wouldn't do anything like that. We went to the kitty gardens to try to get some via phone and was told no comment. Tiffany says the worker's response makes her doubt her story. She didn't even call the owner. She didn't call the police. She didn't call the ambulance. She didn't call nobody. As doctors try to find out if baby Jesse will have any lasting injuries, this mother is left questioning if she can ever leave her children in someone else's care again. I can protect them. And I was trying to do what's best for my kids, like going to the doctor, take care of my health, going to school. Like I've been going to school two years and I just got him in daycare and just when I caught myself getting stuff on track. Those images so hard to hear and so hard to uh, see that mother's heartbreak. Now we check the online. Okay, so basically, um, 
that that hurt me that hurt me as a matter of fact i got tears in my eyes right now and i'm not no you know i have the wisdom and discernment of god come on somebody hallelujah listen to me the devil is after our children y'all gotta have wisdom and discernment first of all and i'm not trying to be ugly first of all just to look at the place I'd have been skeptical. I'd have been like, okay, because if you're talking about kids, you need to be clean. I mean, everything from the outside, the inside, come on, somebody, hallelujah, you got to be clean. But here's what I'm talking about, just like that challenge they have. And people capitalize it. Oh, Lord, y'all ain't going to like me. Y'all ain't going to like me for the next two, three days. I'm telling you the truth because I'm coming with some stuff. Let me tell you something. I'm so tired of also these fake Facebook preachers capitalizing off of what happens. They'd be the first one to put it out there. Oh, I'm so, no, you, you're not tired of nothing. Because if you was tired, you wouldn't have your PayPal um, thing on there. So stop lying. Y'all ain't never saw me put on my PayPal thing. Never. And guess what? You probably never will because I don't roll like that. I care for real. I'm not saying that we don't need money because we got to uh, pay bills. We got to put gas in the car, whatever the case may be. But I'm so tired of people pimping the gospel. I'm tired of them. I am sick of them. And I'm start calling our names. Y'all can get mad if you want to. Talking about that's not of God. What you mean was not of God? Them pimping or me telling that they pimping? Oh, come on somebody. I'm on one. Hallelujah. But I'm telling you right now, y'all got to start having wisdom and discernment, mothers. Stop leaving your babies with just anybody. I don't care if they look good. I understand that sometimes money is a problem. It looks like, you know, she's in between blessings. Praise God. I understand that. But y'all still have to use wisdom and discernment. Look how they did that baby. And that was a, that was a, a woman or whoever, 22-year-old. You know, I don't know what she was thinking. I don't know. The devil got into her and... and I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know. I probably would have. I don't know. The woman punched her. Think about it. So that's my plea today. Stop leaving y'all kids with anybody. I don't care if it's family, friends, whomever. Start praying. That's what's wrong with the body of Christ. Can I tell y'all something? Everybody after money. I'm so, y'all don't know how my heart is broken. I, I, I'm, I'm going to actually get on here and do another live. God's been talking to me. Y'all ain't going to like what God been saying. Uh, whoo, I, can, I can't go there. I can't mix the two. I'm going to get back on here. Wait till y'all, what I tell y'all that God's been saying, and guess what? It's not pretty. I'm telling you, <laughs> out of the mouth of babes, out of the mouth of babes. So I'm going to get back on here, you guys. Give me a couple of minutes. God was just, even that challenge, that challenge. Y'all don't understand the the, the, um, the spirit of suicide, the spirit of bullying. It's all because of the God of Moloch. Don't you understand what they're doing? They are pronouncing witchcraft even in the schools. Why y'all think the teachers treating y'all kids so bad? Y'all don't understand where I'm going with this? Oh, come on, somebody. I'm telling you, there is an all-out attack on our children to take our children, to steal our children. Come on, somebody, to sacrifice our children. That's what's really happening in this hour. I know y'all don't want to touch that, but that's the truth. So I'm going to get back on here. God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers, for that is who we are. God bless.